What are you looking at? You want a weekend review or something? All right, here it comes. Hey everybody, it's uh, getting late Sunday night um, and I realized I had done my weekend review for uh, the week. Uh, didn't do a lot with comics this week really, uh, other than uh, a, a few comic related things that I'll get into. Um, I'm not really on eBay right now. Uh, there's not a ton of books out there. It just seems uh, things have kind of gotten to be a fever pitch on eBay. Um, I am watching Comic Link. I think that ends on the 24th and 25th uh, for comics and then comic art. It uh, goes a little bit longer than that, but uh, for the most part, I you know I, I look at it and I just see people overpaying and um, there's just some craziness. Uh, I saw in, in, in uh, Nick's uh, got to have on Saturday morning there's a couple things that just were like I you can't explain why someone did it just it's literally is someone just wanted it they got to have it and they don't care and they just pay crazy prices so uh, I don't I don't want to be part of that um, I've been spending most of my time at the new house uh, trying to get that ready I'll probably be moving out of, out of this house uh, the second or third week in August so uh, at some point when you come here, this will just be blue walls um, and it'll be short uh, video. Um, it is tiring. I've been working at 9.30, 10 o'clock every night, uh, mostly doing demo. The house we bought was uh, built in 1961 and we're doing a pretty extensive uh, remodel to it. So I kind of feel like I'm in uh, the middle of an HGTV uh, show um, only without all the people off screen doing all the work. Um, uh, about the hosts, I don't think do any of the work on those shows, but uh, there's no cameras, there's no crew, and no one helping me other than my wife and I and my kids. So um, we're trying to get ready. I've been meeting with contractors, different things. You know, you got uh, you know brick guys, and you got carpenters, and you got electricians and plumbers, and all these different people you meet with, trying to get it done. And when we're done, it should be like a brand new house, um, but with the same. We're keeping some of the flair of the original style, so. It's exciting, uh, it's tiring, um, but at the same time, it, it's definitely worth it. Um, well, another thing too I noticed, I've watched a few videos and I've been reading comments and it appears that the uh, trolls are out in force again. Um, I don't know what's spurring that, if they're just having a bad time in their life or what's going on, but um, just remember, don't feed the trolls, don't even respond to them. If someone says something negative to, about something you did or a video, just ignore them. Uh, they, they just want to try to get a rise out of you. Uh, there's, there's a crowd that does that and uh, a lot of the names you'd recognize. I think some of these guys have multiple accounts too because uh, I do know people have blocked them and then you see a different name but it's the exact same verbiage. Uh, you can tell people have certain ways of saying things. and uh, I'll, I'll see different videos uh, with different people, different channels and a similar type phrasing will come up and you know it's the same guy. So. Um, just remember, don't feed them, and they'll go away, hopefully. Uh, maybe they'll figure their lives out, and they won't be so negative and angry all the time, but eh, you can't fix everyone. Uh, as far as pickups go, I do have two boxes that came back from CGC. Um, Mike and I sent in a whole bunch of books in the last few months, and two boxes came in last week, actually, and uh, I feel bad because they're at Mike's house, so that's got to be like having Christmas presents and waiting weeks to open them because uh, it's a mix of mine and his so hopefully we get to those this week um, I'm excited about it uh, one of the boxes is 25 moderns and uh, I they, they're very high grade I would say everything in the box is a 9.6 or a 9.8 um, we'll see how many 9.8s we can pull out of that box so that'll be fun and then the other one it, there's some other really good books in there too so hopefully we can get get going on that and get those out and so you guys can all see all that kind of stuff um, uh, the sermon today kind of, um, I don't know if it's, it's more of an observation, but uh, as I was working on this house, and, and anyone that's never remodeled a house before or uh, started tearing in the walls and, and things like that, you inevitably find things that, you know, you didn't notice or the, the homeowner maybe knew about or didn't know about. If it's irrelevant, I guess. Uh, or, you know, you have an inspector uh, go through, an engineer goes through the whole house. 
and they can't see inside walls they can't see things so you find like plumbing that's done wrong or uh, I found a couple buried junction boxes up in a ceiling which is just not uh, you know code it's extremely dangerous so you, you get things like that and at first you feel oh you feel gut punched like oh that's another thing I gotta fix but in some of the cases and some of the things that we've had happen um, I, I think back to the the old phrase when you know life gives you lemons make lemonade and it, it, it's really true and I think sometimes cliches are cliches for a reason because they they make sense and uh, to, to have something adverse happen to you and then just get mad, throw your hands up in the air and quit just is silly to me. So um, I, the way I'm looking at it is it's a whole new opportunity now. There's new opportunities like we're going to move some walls that we hadn't intended before because I had to rip into these things to fix some of the mechanical stuff that was wrong. So my thought is, well, we got the wall open, let's move it or let's do this with it. And uh, it's exciting because uh, we're taking down some walls now. and. Uh, it means more demo, but uh, that's okay. Uh, and, and it got me to thinking about my collecting. And uh, I always talk about having a plan and, and a goal and trying to get there. But uh, along with that, you have to every now and again, you know, readjust your plan. And that's what's happened with this. And it, it does go back to that old saying, if, you know, if you get, you know, lemons, make lemonade. Or you get belt, uh, dealt a bad hand, play that hand out because you never know how it could, could, could turn out. Um, so short and sweet this week take a bad situation try to make it right you know try to make something out of it try to make the best out of it uh, and that can happen with collecting as well um, for me so it's pretty simple homework uh i i haven't had a lot of communication with you all lately i, I haven't i've watched all your videos so i i always sums up ones that i like and that i watch um but i haven't really commented a lot i, I watch them on my phone uh, often and if I'm watching my computer, it's a whole lot easier to uh, to you know make a comment. On the phone, it's not so easy, um, especially when I'm you know covered in uh, sawdust or, or whatever I'm covered in while I'm uh, working on this house. Um, so if you could leave me uh, a question down below. Um, I, I miss answering questions on Wednesday night. It's been like a month since I've been on Wednesday nights, but. Last Monday or Wednesday night, I was working and I sent Anthony a text that I'm running late. I'm going to try to get in there, and I don't think I ended up getting home till almost nine o'clock that night. So um, sometimes you, there isn't a spot where you can stop <laughs> when you're working on, on a house. So um, that's what happened to me. Recommendations: uh, I was able to uh, uh, go and see Ant Man last week. It was my son's birthday, so I took the day off of work. Uh, I didn't work at the house. Uh, he and I just went out. We hung out all day together, and one of the things we did was we went and saw Ant Man, and uh, it was it was fun. It was just a fun movie. Uh, I can say go see it. When I think of, I don't really do reviews, so for me it's either it was good or it wasn't good. This was good. I enjoyed it. Um, definitely go see it if you haven't. You really don't need to know a whole lot more. They touched back on things that happened previously in both um, the first Ant Man movie and in. Um, Civil War, uh, Captain America movie when um, he, you know, appeared in that spoilers if you haven't seen that two-year-old movie, but um, it, it's enough that you know what's going on. Uh, the comedy I thought was very well done in it. It wasn't as, it didn't feel like Evening at the Improv like Thor Ragnarok did. Uh, you know, there was some some jokes that they, I think they pushed a little too hard, but you know, they have to kind of uh, appeal to, to such a mass uh, audience that uh, everything can't be, uh, you know, uh, very wry wit. Um, sometimes there's some slapstick comedy in there. Uh, but I enjoyed it. Uh, definitely go see it. Um, and it just keeps you going for these Marvel movies that are coming out. So, you know, it's exciting to, to see what's going to come out next now. So uh, I think they're still doing a great job, a really good job with these. And I enjoyed the movie more than I thought I would. So uh, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, I didn't show you pickups. I did promise the last time that uh, I would, there were some of you that really wanted to get a good look at this. And this is the Bowen sculpture that my daughter got me for Father's Day. Let's go slowly rotate it. And it's just so well done. They hand paint each one. It just, it's, it's so well done. Look at the gun. It's just so well done. There he is. Yikes. So 
that's for there. You all that commented, you'd like to see a close-up of him. But he'll definitely find a place at the new house. I, I really don't have uh, a place yet where I'm going to uh, have my comics area kind of like this with my records and uh, some of my music. I think I do want to have a bigger TV though and be able to relax more. Um, but we'll see. My daughter also got me these and I forgot to show them last time. She got a pack of a couple packs of these Iron Man cards. I don't know what they are. Hmm. So it looks like they are from the movie. This is actually one of my favorite parts of the movie right there. When he crash lands and he has to drag his armor because it's powered down. And he steals that poncho from the uh, cigar store Indian type thing. That's pretty cool. These are neat. I, I saw three recently and I kind of panned it at first. I didn't like that the peely armor in that movie but um, I watched it again and I really enjoyed the interaction with him and the little boy in it. Um, and I, I kind of hope they bring that kid back. Um, I don't know how, but uh, you know, at the end of that, they did have a lab for him. So there's more, more stuff here. This was kind of—I remember this scene too. This was uh, when he was in that little town. Uh, that movie, I enjoyed the scenes without the armor more than when he had armor on. It kind of had a James Bond feel to a 007 type movie. Um, you know, when they're in the secret uh, villain's lair and. It was a double cross because it was somebody from his past and all that. So uh, I, I enjoyed three more than two, definitely. I didn't really like two at all. Um, I didn't like the characters. I didn't like uh, just the way it was written. Um, but anyway, a little bit out of order today. That's all I got for you today. So it looks like we kept it short. Um, and uh, I'm going to get this out to you all. And until next time, life, liberty, and the pursuit of comic books. Leave me some questions. Bye, everybody.